We thank you, God, and we thank you, Nada, for bringing Nada back to life. It's a prayer. And we thank you, God. Amen. Little Nico said every day for 155 days, that's how long his big sister was in a coma, he was in this car and called 911 after this crash in Chesapeake, 2017. That's when she's strong. That makes me happy. And strong she is. Let me try, Am. She woke up from a five-month coma with a goal in mind to graduate high school. We visited Nada one year ago during her schooling at CHKD. She told us that day she was on another mission. What? Walk to receive her diploma. Mission accomplished, and we have proof. I just got a name. Tonasia Dimesha Edwards. Shocked at her ability to stand straight up. Like I never did that. She practiced for months in therapy, her mom by her side. It was amazing. Like, I, I really feel like the same way God flipped the switch and woke her, woke her up, he kind of like took his hands and pushed her up. Like literally, the day of graduation was her first time standing on her own. With a wave of support for this former high school cheerleader, now her school is her biggest fan. It's just wonderful, yeah. And yes, there are many lows to Nada's journey. To think just a year and a half ago, we didn't know if she was gonna ever come home. A coma, a missed junior year, her early high school years erased from her memory, but she will always remember this. To see what she did on Saturday, it gave her the strength that she has today. She's gearing up for Norfolk State University in the fall. I knew it was so time. And with her proud little brother by her side, Nada is showing the world that with prayer, anything is possible. Just take it one step at a time. We thank you, God, for bringing Nada back to life. And we love her. Amen.